pictured are some sweet pierogi, apple and cinnamon filled with a very tender dough. I'll show you how to make this sweet pierogi dough. We're going to start with 300 grams of all-purpose flour, two egg yolks, about a cup of water, we'll use less, some vanilla, I flavor it, some oil, and some salt. The flour is a standard red flour. You can put in spelt if you wish and make a different dough, but it's essentially the same. The salt will be added to meld and blend the flavors that are in the dough itself. Normally, one does not add egg yolks to a pierogi dough, but in this case, I add egg yolks because the egg yolks make the dough tender. They also give it a little bit of color. Oil also is not normally added to a pierogi dough, but I add oil in this case once again to make the dough tender. As far as water goes, you have to adjust it. In this case, I am going to add a little more water than is necessary. I do that for a reason. I want to show you how to knead a dough if you add too much water. The recipe calls for a given amount of water in, in, our, in our book and any recipe that you, you follow. But add a little bit less than that. You'll find the amount of water you have to add is going to depend on the flour that you use. Some will take more, some will take less. Even if it's the same brand, the flowers have additives that affect the amount of water you put in. You put the water in, mix your dough up, get it to, to where it's binding together and you can get it out of the bowl. Like you say, in this case, the dough is a bit wet, but no problem. What we're going to do now is knead it. And watch the kneading time. It's, it's really not much over a minute and a half or two. I put the wet dough on some extra flour. I'm going to knead the dough to develop the gluten. Gluten are, are strings that bind the flour together. It, 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 it toughens the flour. Now, we don't want to overwork the, the dough or it gets tough. I want a tender dough. That's why I do this by hand. I have food processor and bread mixer. I could surely do this in the either one. But I don't want to put it in a food processor and beat it to death. By doing it by hand for a minute, a minute and a half, I can feel the dough and I keep that dough tender. Now, what I'm doing, you see me adding flour to the board and I'm rolling in a flour. I'm adding flour to the dough and I'm making it less tacky, less wet. If I did not put as much water in, I'd have saved time. But for the purposes of this video, I wanted you to show, how, show you how to recover. The art of cooking is really the art of recovery. You make mistakes, and then you have to adapt. But what well, I do is I push on the dough, fold it over, and then turn, push and turn, push, turn, fold. I do this bit by bit all the time I'm feeling that dough. The more you work a dough, the tougher it gets. We're making a dessert pierogi. We don't want any bite. People want the filling. They want to taste the filling. Now we've got some flavor in the dough to help a little bit, to add to it, uh, the flavor being vanilla in this case. You see the fold and turn, fold and turn, press, fold and turn. You, can, you make the dough with about two minutes worth of kneading, not too much more. Again, you don't like a tough dough. And please, don't add egg whites unless you want a tough dough. Egg whites make it, it, you know, really stiffens it. You get a lot of chewy stuff in there. As we go forward now, it's just a matter of patience. You can see the dough is developing nicely. And again, it's not hard. You, when I start making a mix that's nearing a half kilo of flour, then I'll consider using my bread mixer. But I'm very careful with it, on and off, on and off. And you're constantly checking the uh, strength of that dough. I don't just turn it on and go. And this is what you have, a nice dough. If you have questions, contact me. You can get me through the website at the end here on everything about pierogi. 
Have a good day. I hope this has helped.